All right, Chozo ruins. Nice. <laughs> Can I say, after spending some time in Dark Aether, I really miss Chozo ruins. <laughs> it's a very nice place. It is. It totally is. Mm -hmm. Got some annoying ghosts, but we don't have to worry about those too much. Not right now, anyways. Yep. All right, so this video and uh, the one after it are pretty much going to be collecting all sorts of fun stuff. Okay. Um, just for some fun, we're gonna play a little game. Uh huh. We have two. We have two videos to record here, and it's gonna take about, and they're about thirty minutes long. Okay. Uh, so try to guess what the last upgrade I'm gonna get is gonna be. Right now. Yeah, like at the end of the video. Wow. Uh, that that was pretty <laughs> impressive right there. Yep. That's uh, one thing I didn't actually realize, even though it seems pretty obvious to me now that I think about it. Someone in the topic posted about it. Oh, okay. Alright, so 30 minutes, what upgrade are you going to get? Um, 30 minutes. And there is editing in here, but I will tell you, this video is all chose over. Murder Beam. Murder Beam. Good guess. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Wave Buster, why not? All right, well, we'll see. That's the only power-up I can think of right now. <laughs> All right, so is this like uh, super strategies against the plated beetle? Um, pretty much standard. Move around a lot, shoot things. I say. Watch for the big red monkey ass. Yep. Gotcha. And there's not really too much you can do here because you don't have all the extra power-ups and stuff. This is true. Yeah, it's enough to, and he becomes a regular enemy later, so, you know, he's obviously yeah, not so bad. I mean, if I had the charge beam, I could pretty much just kill him in one go. And that's true of any beam you have, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Anyway, at this point I realized, uh, hey, you know, maybe I could jump over that. But we'll never find out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they might have put an invisible wall there, they might not have. Who knows? I don't know. That's up to the viewer's imagination. <laughs> exactly. Right. Or whoever in the topic's gonna say, oh yeah, you can do that. I can imagine, I must imagine Samus being pretty sickened by being somersaulted like that before the... <laughs> more fall plates. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh, just moving through here, showing how it's a lot easier to get through uh, Chozo Ruins when you have the space jump. It certainly seems it. Oh yeah, you can skip whole huge parts like that whole fountain area. I can just jump straight across this. Oh yeah, this old place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seems like so long ago when we had to be sca scan ruins and or runes rather. Yep. Anyway, uh, just for fun, we're gonna see my entire time in the charge beam room because uh, I know people will really like it in this topic when people don't play very well. I uh, I don't know what you mean. I don't think <laughs> we've seen that yet in the thread. Oh. No, of course not. You are masterful. But yeah, I missed that jump, but that's not too bad because I can just look up scan that. You could have played it off like, yeah, I wanted to be in perfect position to scan both of those rooms, except <laughs> I could have, but we're trying to be honest here. I say, that's the way it goes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. grab the third one, and the fourth one's just right around the corner. I already forgot that third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not so bad. If, that, if that's the biggest screw-up you make, I mean, that's, that's pretty great, <laughs> actually. Oh yeah, it's I have to catch the little mistakes. Right, well, that that's still like speed run by comparison. So. <laughs> yep, just a little bit of jumping. Oh, never mind. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's okay. Just got denied by that vine. This is really all Flogger's fault. This would have been a nice mm -hmm. little swim to the to the charge beam. Yeah, exactly. But no, poison the fucking water. Piece Why of don't shit. You? Yeah, really. <laughs> uh. I want everybody in the thread to post their I hate Flagra fan art and Facebook pages. <laughs> there we go. Yes. How many fans can hating Flogger get? Millions. There you go. <laughs> there's your... And there's the charge beam. Exactly. Technically speaking, I wouldn't need this to complete the game, but it really makes a lot of battles a lot easier, and due to something I'm going to do a little later, it's better that I haven't. Okay. So, uh, charge beam, definitely skippable item. Sp yep. Space jump, I'm imagining, is mandatory. To it's mandatory to do, like, for a low percent run, but actually it is possible to beat the game without the space jump boots. Huh, okay. Or at least according to the uh, one FAQ I saw on Game Facts. Oh, alright. 
<laughs> I've never actually done it myself. And of course, I get slapped back in here. You need a lot of glitch jumping to pull it off. Yeah, I assume it's a lot of crazy room geometry. Right. Lots of scan <laughs> jumps and uh, jumping outside the map. And God knows what else. All right, now here's our friend uh, incinerator drone, if I remember. Yep, that's him. We do. Uh, yep. All right. So, any any cool tricks to this guy? Uh, not really. Oh. I mean, you can just you just wait for him to jump up, shoot things, kill his wasps when you feel like it. Not really a hard boss. There's not really much he can do though. No. I do like the whole notion that it is a button that makes him shoot perpendicularly up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If you hit that button, you start burning the nest above him. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I can't really imagine what else that would be for. Now, uh, I didn't really show this off in in, in the my playthrough, but apparently the, these war wasps are like a different type, actually. Yep. They're green and they shoot spit at you. Right. They're like barbed war wasps, I think. Yeah, something like that. And I think here comes me playing really, really well. Oh, okay. Let's see what that's like. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yep. I almost managed to die to the incinerator drone because that wasp shot me straight into the lava or straight into the fire. I couldn't get out of it. God, dude, even I didn't do that. <laughs> It was at this point I was thinking, oh fuck, if I seriously lose here, I'm re-recording. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that never has to be known. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I beat him, and we can just pretend that never happened. That takes care of the War Wasp 5. <laughs> yep. Which just shatters. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that was the incinerator drum that just shattered. But whichever, really, same thing. Everything just shatters. Exactly. And there are your bombs. Yep. Those are really good for secrets breaking runs. Bombs? Yep. Mm. Places, like, if you're going to skip the gravity suit, there's a lot of places where you have to abuse bombs and things like that. Mm. Anyway, I left in the rest of this room uh, because I'm going to be unlocking the furnace. Okay. I figure it's uh, something nice to do, and we're going to be back there eventually. I see. So unlocking the furnace is something... Oh, I see. You're gonna get the stone toad and everything, and yep, okay. blow up the uh, all these locks and things. I see. Guess it's just to say, yeah, I did it. There's not really any fancy sequence breaking right here. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> well, you're running out of time. Are you gonna make it? I know. This this is gonna be close. I'm gonna cut it close here. That wasn't very close. Oh. <laughs> That's all you need to do for this part, right? Really, or... Oh, no. No, it's still going. Yeah, there's that last section over there. You have to hit two bomb jumps. Oh, my God. Two time thing. God knows how much time. You, you better hurry. <laughs> Don't let these shriek bats throw you. It was tough, but I got through them. Good job. <laughs> Glad to hit it. So, of course, now... Uh, I have 38 energy and I'm running around, but yeah, that doesn't really matter. Nah, not, not at all. 38 energy is plenty, really. Enough to go through the game. Yeah, exactly. Certainly enough for Omega Pirate, Metroid Prime, <laughs> all of that. Definitely. Let's see, now where are we now? We're uh, going to be scanning those symbols. Okay. Um, I actually had to record this a few times due to uh, something that I'll be doing after the boss. Huh. And there were there were some attempts that were not very impressive. I actually managed to die in this room once. Interesting. Yep. I'm uh, I'm inter I'm interested to see what exactly it is. Oh, and there you just skip right over the little. Yep. That actually kind of caused me some trouble the few times that I was going through this room where I would hit a war wasp, it would knock me down the side, and I'd have to just start jumping all over again. See, those are the, some, like, I want to be the guy level of jumps, where you're kind of dipping even down farther than you started <laughs> from, but... Yeah. Try to get as many, uh, as much distance as you can. Yeah. But at least it doesn't have to be perfect. No. Well, this is some good space jump abuse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we go. But the kinds of things that I didn't really do the first time, like, my first playthrough, where I had the space jump, but I'd still just go through that little tunnel anyway. Uh -huh. You know, because you just get used to it, and keep doing it. Right. Yeah, 
eh? Blasting through all these things. Right. Oh, we got some Reaper vines and some tank, uh, Venom weed. If yeah, I remember, there we go. If I remember my <laughs> lore correctly. You do. And now to our first boss. Good old Flodra. Right? Unfortunately, he's just about as boring this time as you. Oh. I do manage to wreck him, though. That's good. He deserves it. <laughs> he's kind of just got, like, that sort of same old kind of... He's, like, the most gimmicky of the bosses, it seems like. Yeah, definitely. Like, the artist is still a fight, if you get, even if you get it. You know what I mean? But... Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Sorry? Yeah, this guy. I was saying that, um... He's... One thing he can do is uh, kill you if you're not really prepared for him, because a lot of his attacks, um, the only way to dodge him is to just either stun him or knock the mirrors out faster than he can hit you. Uh -huh. I do manage to do this a few times, but there were other times when I was recording this that he would just take me down to half health or less and just be the Yeah, he's, um... Uh, it seems like, yeah, that's kind of a tricky thing to dodge when you're at, like... Yeah. At one energy tank, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's something, too, that's kind of hard to notice, but if you're in the morph ball when he, like, drops on the ground like that, you kind of bounce up. Bounce up, yeah. It's a neat little effect. It's, like, hard to notice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little bounce things. They, I think there are a few other points in the game that happen as well. This is one of the bigger ones. Right. Three. It's, yeah, I, I kind of wish they'd stopped at three, honestly, with Flandra, because... Mm -hmm. You really don't gain anything with the fourth mirror. Right. I mean, here you have, I can generally get to all three mirrors while he's still stuck the first time, but it's still kind of tedious. Yeah. Is this any easier in the trilogy version? Um, I couldn't tell you. I don't have a trilogy version. Good. Screw the trilogy <laughs> version. Fuck it. There you go. And that's and that's the end of Flog, right? Oh wait, no, I think we have another Oh, that's right, duh, the fourth. Um, I just <laughs> talked about it. Another mirror. Uh, well, one thing too, by the way, if you're going for a 100% scan run, his tentacles count separately from yep, themselves. It's a separate scan and that, that can fuck you. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why they did that. Mm -hmm. One thing I've heard is that he's actually weak to fire damage, like you can hurt him with it. So, if you manage to get the plasma beam, which isn't even possible through sequence breaking. Really? But... If you could manage to get it, he would be able to damage him with it. So would he have to like hack the game and like do a you game shark or yeah, something like that? Yeah, people have apparently figured it out like that. Wow, that's kind of impressive that <laughs> you can't do that with sequence breaking, huh? Yep, there's some things that just can't be done. I mean, if I had to guess, it's because it's in Magmore Caves and you're just constantly taking damage while you're trying to get it. Right. Well, I've heard... Is there some sequence breaking you can do by toughing out Magmore? To some extent? Um, yes, you can do that, but it's really just to skip the Flagra. Yeah, because I remember the Plasma Beam, you need to do like this shitload of like spider balling. Like, I, don't, I yeah. can't even imagine how you do that. It, it involves some fancy jumping to just do it without it, and you skip the whole spider ball track pretty much, huh. but I'm not actually good enough to do that. Um, okay. Unfortunately, that's one of the ones we won't be able to do. I'm sorry I brought up one of your limitations. <laughs> it's unfortunate. That's okay, though, because... I'm, I'm not that much of a robot. Because here we got the Varia suit now. Yep. Now, what's really good about the Varia suit is that it pretty much halves all the damage that's done to us. Oh, okay. And so, before when we were walking into Scarabs and losing half our health, uh -huh. that doesn't happen anymore. It's like a surrogate energy tank, really. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be all I'm going to have on the run through, so Excellent. it's a really useful thing to have. Anyway. Alright. <laughs> all we have left in the video is a sequence break that's pretty frustrating. I wouldn't really put it on the same level as the dash jump for me, but all right. to be honest, it should be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you'll you'll see what I mean. But basically, if you want to skip the spider ball and also the super missiles, um, you need to do what I'm about to do here. Because there's an artifact behind us, and you would need the spider ball and the super missiles to get here otherwise. Okay, I remember this. Kinda. So, let's watch. <laughs> Alright. Jump up, get stuck in that little hole there, and then start bomb jumping. What the hell? The reason you yeah the reason you can do this is that the wall will slow your descent if you're pushing the stick like up and left. 
Holy. enough that your bombs can restart. Holy shit. So, we jump up, jump up, and miss. Fuck. Oh my That's god. That's kind of unfortunate, because generally you only get one chance at this. However, I was really lucky and ended up landing on this platform and getting myself stuck here again. Wow. <laughs> Normally that doesn't happen. You fall to the bottom and have to refight fr uh, re Flagra. Oh my god. And that was the source of my problems. And another thing is if those things kill you, then you're screwed. And speaking of failing at it, Aww. I did it again. Yep. So ignore the fact that I have eight power bombs, fourteen energy tanks, <laughs> and the phase on the Um this is this trick done correctly. I say. The reason I did it in this file is that here I can actually just spider ball back up to the top if I fall down. I have a lot more energy and I don't have to fight the fucking flogger again. I say.